Hello everyone, it's Wednesday and it's our worship time and today's theme is all about our favourite memories, some good, some bad perhaps. And this week, Father Trevor is here, as always, with some prayers and some thoughts for us to mull over. So I'm going to light the candle, if that's all right, Father Trevor, to it start certainly us. certainly is, Mrs Joshi, thank you. Oh, this match does not want to be picked up. Come on. Comforting, glowing light fills the room. So we meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Memories. When I come back from a holiday, and when I've moved parishes, a new photograph album has to be bought. I know you can store photographs on your computer, and even on your phone. But what I like to do is to add other trivial things to the photographs. Mrs Joshi's seen this one before because it's last year's. And before any photographs are in there, there is a confirmation email that our taxi was booked for 4.30 a.m. It's still painful. <laughs> And then there is the wrapper that contained the mask and sanitizer we were given as we boarded the plane. There's also a spare breakfast menu which we had to use to pre-order as because of the restrictions the buffet could not be used. With all sorts of bus and train tickets and even a paper napkin. This brings my holiday memories really back to life for me. Next week, we shall share in what I believe is the greatest physical memory ever. Because before he died on the cross, Jesus shared bread and wine with his apostles and told them that they were to do the same after he had returned to heaven. And still, every day, 2,000 years later, that's what happens when Mass is said. And did you hear me say that Mass is said every day. The day I was preparing this script, I had just celebrated my 12,186th Mass. Now add that to the number of priests who are living and celebrating all around the world. Well, isn't that just some wonderful lasting memory of Jesus' love and keeping his promise to be with us until the end of time. Mrs. Joshi has a prayer about memories. Dear God, thank you for people who have given us special memories and for places we've been and things we've seen that make us happy when we think of them. Please help us to do things for other people that make them happy when we remember them. Amen. Amen. And so let's pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's interesting to hear you say about your long career or professional vacation uh, over time. Um, I've been trying to work out how many children I've taught over 26 oh, yeah. years, and I think it comes up to the 900 and something Mark, doing a bit of maths, which is a lot. And I have to say, I can probably remember most children's names. It's, uh, it's amazing, isn't well, it? Well, that's a real gift and wonder, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, lots of things to think about. So, here's your thing to think about this week. 
what is your favourite memory during this very strange school year? Mm. I'm sure you have one. So I'll leave that thought with you and our worship has ended. Let us proceed in peace. Amen.